YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby. I'm a former Lululemon educator and in today's video, I wanted to share some tips and tricks with you about Lululemon and Lululemon items. Things that you might not know about already, but if you're like a Lululemon fanatic like me, maybe you already know most of these things, but hopefully you can learn something new in today's video. I've had a lot of requests for tips and tricks and to share my knowledge of Lululemon things with you. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to cover things from like shopping tips to care tips and just like fun things in general about Lululemon items. So if you wanna know everything there is to know or everything that I know at least, then just keep on watching. So let's start out with shopping tips. So the first tip that I have for you is new releases are on Tuesdays typically at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now this can vary. There's no like set designated schedule that Lululemon does do new releases, but it typically happens on Tuesdays around that time. The only exception being if it's the holidays. So typically between the mid-November to end of December, drops are a little bit more sporadic and all over the place because of things like shipping cutoff times, Black Friday, Boxing Day, etc. So that would be the only exception to the Tuesday drop rule or if there's like a holiday on the Tuesday, which typically there's not, but if there was a holiday, then that would be like an exception to that Tuesday drop. But if you want to shop new arrivals first, then be sure to check out the website at 2.15 on Tuesdays. The next tip I have is that markdowns or We Made Too Much happens every Thursdays at 7.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so it is very bright and early especially for us on the West Coast so if you want to snag the good markdowns definitely have to get up early to be able to score some good items again the exception being the holiday season there won't be typically markdowns between that mid-November to the end of December range because of the two big sales which I'll get into a little bit later for the most of the year we're gonna see markdowns happen on Thursdays at 7:15 Eastern Standard Time time in the morning. So now you know the two biggest days of the week in Lululemon world. The next tip I have for you is to use the browser and not the app. The reason being the browser is going to load the items in first and the next few tricks that I'm going to tell you about you can only do on the browser on like the dot com the website you can't do it on the app. So again another tip if you want to snag things first like super popular items like the Sonic Pink belt bag or when the Sonic Pink scuba came out hyped items you're going to want to be on the website because that's how you're going to be able to snag them first. The app doesn't load for another couple hours after the drop actually begins so you won't see the app fully updated and uploaded until like well into the evening. In some cases some items might already be sold out and you've missed them by the time they hit the app. So again if you want to be an eager beaver then definitely be on the dot com. Okay the next tip pertaining to that is using what's called the cart trick or the cart hack. So this is when a new color of an item is coming out. Let's say there's a new color of scuba. Then you're going to want to add a different color of scuba like half zip to your cart and then you're going to go in and edit the cart. So basically you can pick any size, any color that's still in stock. You're going to head to the cart and hit edit on the item and then that's going to bring up the new colors hopefully for you to select that color and size and hit okay and then that's going to update your cart with that new color for you so that's how you can get your hands on super popular items and different colors of items that are coming out that day now this doesn't work if it's like a brand new item per se like if it's not on the website already that's not gonna work unfortunately you do need to have like a pre-existing item added to the cart to be able to edit for that color so it only works on new colorways doesn't necessarily work on a typically like brand new item Item that's being uploaded to the site if that makes sense but often when I go live on Tuesdays which I do on TikTok then I have a lot of people asking me questions about what the cart trick is or the cart hack and that's basically what it is to be able to snag these items even faster now you might be wondering how do people know what colors and stuff are coming out basically that's how we find out we add other things to our cart and go in and edit and see if any new colors pop up there's also a reddit thread you can search Lululemon reddit on Google and they do a thread every Tuesday for 
for new releases and Thursday for We Knew Too Much and it's just basically a community of people popping in items that they are finding but I feel like that's how most of us find the items first is using that card trick for new colorways. Okay the next tip I have is that there are two big sales each year so again Lululemon doesn't do any like store-wide sales typically they do like two big markdown sales We Made Too Much sales for Boxing Day and Black Friday. Now Boxing Day is a Canadian holiday so they might call it the end of the year sale or year end sale in other countries just because Boxing Day is like a Canadian term but they do also do one for Black Friday and typically what you can expect in these sales is for it to be a bigger We Made Too Much section so they'll typically bring items back from previous We Made Too Much weeks and pull that all together into a giant We Made Too Much section. It will usually double in number so Typically we see about like 300, 400 items in the We Made Too Much section and that will typically double to that 800, 900 range during Black Friday and Boxing Day. They sometimes bring back things that are like sunsetted or old school and retro. Sometimes you can find some really good finds. That's basically the two biggest sales they'll have each year. And those sales also happen in store and online so you can shop both ways. But again, if you're shopping online, then be sure you're on the browser. Okay, my next tip also pertains to being up early on Thursday days for markdowns and that is because typically we don't see markdown items restocked so once it goes on markdown because it's called we made too much it's essentially too many items that they've made but they don't restock those items and once it goes on we made too much it doesn't typically come back to full price like it doesn't change like that it, it's just like cycling through the life cycle of the product it's on its way out so whatever's left is whatever's left that's why you want to be up early on Thursday sometimes to snag some good things because once things sell out on we made too much they typically don't restock that being said it can happen seldomly but it is more of a rare occasion and it's just better to you know get them while they're hot instead of maybe gambling on whether it's going to restock or not later that being said as for other restocks on the website all restocks happen randomly there's no set time that lululemon goes on and restocks items typically really good days for this i find are wednesdays and fridays however again it is completely random so there's no rhyme or reason to it. I would highly recommend using the wishlist feature on the app to bookmark things so you can go back really quickly and check. They also have a email notification now. However, that one can be a little bit delayed. So it's not always the most reliable thing. I would always frequently check on an item if you're waiting for it to restock, just because sometimes the emails are a little bit slow and it could be sold out again once you get that email. Sometimes people call Tuesdays restock day, but typically I find that it's mostly new items being uploaded to the website and sometimes that can be a lot so they don't really do a lot of restocks on Tuesday so just be mindful new items and restocks are different restocks are basically replenishing the items that have been sold out on the website and new items or new drops new arrivals are like new items new colorways on the website something that's like hasn't been on the website before if that makes sense okay third tip is about sizing and shopping online. I highly recommend using the sizing chart on Lululemon. Get yourself a little measuring tape and take your measurements because I do find the size chart really helpful and pretty true to size and like a really helpful guideline on kind of guessing what size you might be. Once you kind of find your size in Lululemon items, you can kind of gauge on like fit. So the things that you know are a slim fit or a classic fit or an oversized fit are all gonna be cut differently so you can kind of play around with sizing in that but to get a baseline I would highly recommend using the size chart it's really hard to base someone's like size off of their height and weight especially like online when I get questions about oh I'm x height x weight what size would it be at lululemon it totally depends on your personal body like measurements you could have really broad shoulders or you could have narrow shoulders or you have more muscular hips and thighs or whatever it might be than someone else that may have the same like weight and height measurements or like really similar weight and height measurements could be a completely different body size and shape so i highly recommend using the size chart on the website i think that really helps you narrow down some size range for you to to try. I know it's trial and error with some of the items, but at least that will give you a baseline and it's a lot more accurate than me trying to give you a random shot in the dark guess. And like I always say, I feel like height and weight don't really matter when it comes to sizing at Lululemon. Like I said, you could be completely different inseam from me. I'm only 5'2", but I still wear 28 inch aligns 
I don't hem the groove pants, I don't hem the loungeful pants, whereas some other people that are 5'2 find those items way too long on them. So really depends on your personal measurements. Also a fun fact on the website, again, not the app, on the website on some of the items, you can actually go in and change the model size. So I really like that effort that Lululemon starting to incorporate into the website is that you can go in and change the model size. So maybe you can pick a more similar body shape and size to you to see how that item fits. Unfortunately, it's not rolled out to every single item on the website, but there are some that do have this feature. So you can check to see if that item is available to change the model size. I do feel like that is more helpful. Okay. And the last shopping tip I have for you is check for markdown items in store because sometimes some stores will mark down single items that may have been a return from an online purchase that they're not going to get into store or just aren't moving that well in store. So sometimes you can find some sneaky finds that are marked down that are not marked down on the website. Now, not all stores have marked down racks at all times. Sometimes it's scattered throughout the store. So always take a good look at price tags. Everything that's marked down will have that little purple sticker. And if you are a member, you can now exchange or get a credit for marked down items. Membership is free totally free to sign up either in store or on the app. Basically what a profile was and it just keeps track of your purchases. And again, gives you that extra benefit of exchanging or getting a credit for markdown items, hemming and just making your returns easy and faster. So that wraps up all of my shopping tips. If you have any more tips regarding shopping online, shopping on the website for Lululemon, let me know them down below in the comments, but let's move on to care tips. Okay, so I have a whole video on how to wash and care for your Lululemon. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out, but I'm gonna run through them again really quickly in this video. It's not going to be in depth like the other one, but first order of business is washing on cold on a delicate cycle. Do not wash your Lululemon items in like hot water or on like a very heavy cycle that's going to damage the quality of the material and just pill the leggings or deteriorate the item altogether faster than it would if you're washing on cold and delicate. You're also gonna wash items inside out. This helps prevent fading and pilling for things like the Align pants. You're gonna wanna wash them with like items. So if you are washing your scuba hoodies or like sweatpants or something that's more fleecy, cottony, wash all of those items together and then wash all of your leggings, swiftly tack sports bras, things that are more like spandexy and elasticy. Um, wash those things together, especially separating your zippered items. So like your defined jackets, your scubas, etc., so that that doesn't get caught or snagged on any of your other items, super important. Then you're going to want to hang to dry your items, especially your leggings. This just helps prolong the life of them, helps keep them looking new and helps keep that spandex and lycra working good and you know, still stretchy with having that shape retention. The dryer can just really damage this material and cause lines to pill. Now for things like scubas or like my cotton tees, I will hang dry them about 90% dry and then tumble dry them or air dry them until they're 100% dry just to give them a little bit more life, a little bit more softness, because it can kind of stiffen up, I find. When you're washing, you don't wanna use fabric softener. This actually blocks the sweat wicking technology in it and makes your leggings feel really clammy after. I have made this mistake and I was wondering why I just like wore my leggings to school, but I was wondering why I was like so sweaty just sitting there. And it's because the leggings were actually like getting clogged by the fabric softener and they weren't able to wick away the sweat. So I was just sitting in like clamminess the whole time. So don't use fabric softener. It does clog the sweat wicking abilities of the fabrics. You're gonna want to use less detergent as well than you think. I know a lot of people use a ton of detergent and way more than we actually need to especially with Lululemon stuff you don't want that residue left on the clothes so I actually use like half the amount of detergent that is like recommended so whether that's like one tablespoon of you know liquid detergent I use like washing detergent strips so I'll use like half of one of those strips and I find my clothes are still clean they still smell fresh but it just doesn't leave that residue especially with like 
softer more delicate fabrics that could be like really apparent versus like with jeans or like more abrasive materials it's it's not as apparent but i do find it really apparent with my lululemon stuff so i always use less detergent than is like recommended like i said if you want to know the full lowdown on washing and care tips for your lululemon i have a whole separate video on that so be sure to go check that out but let's move into some of the fun tips tricks things that i have about lululemon items all right so the first thing is that these tags these like long tags are actually meant to be ripped out like they're supposed to rip out super easily so that was just for demonstration this is like one of my newer items so i didn't rip it out yet but rip these puppies out in all of your items honestly it just makes it so much better it's not going to like ruin the stitching of it it's actually like stitched in so that it is like meant to rip out and then you don't have that annoying like tag line in your leggings or don't have that stupid awful tag like sticking out of the back of your hoodie or shirt or whatever it might be just makes it super simple now you're probably thinking oh my gosh if i ripped out the tag how the heck am i supposed to know what size it is and that's where this comes in lululemon items most of them have a size dot or a size reference in them so in the aligns here they're gonna be in the secret little hidden pocket and this is for most of the leggings actually they're gonna have an inside pocket in here on the left side typically and in that is the size dot and as you can see there is a whole bunch of like letters and numbers also around the main size so the little number in here is obviously the size of the item another thing to also look at is the four numbers it'll be like 04 2022 so that means it was made in the winter of 2022 so number one means spring then it's summer fall winter so it's not actually the month that it was made it's going to be the season that it was made so that's the first like tiny little number it's super hard to show on here just because my camera won't focus on the tiny little thing then you're gonna have something else that says lw or lm and that's going to be like lululemon women's lululemon men's and then a little product skew so if you have an item that you're like oh my gosh i don't know what this is anymore you can bring this into the store and ask very kindly for an educator to look it up on the system for you and they should be able to actually look on the internal system and look up that little code to see what the item is so that's super helpful the rest of the numbers and stuff on here don't really have a ton of meaning in terms of like things you know we need to know but that's like the two main things is like the manufacture date the actual size and then the product skew as well that you can look up what the item is it won't tell you what color it is it's just going to tell you the item but at least that's a starting point most of the items will have these in here so like in the scubas for example it's going to be in the little hidden pocket in the middle here again on the left side and then you can see this one says like extra small small and then all the same information now the things that won't have a size dot would be like swiftly's and that's actually they're sewn in to the hemline of the swiftly so right here you can see that it says four and then it also has like a little cute message inside the swiftly so that's where to find the size on swiftly items however things like cotton t-shirts like the all yours tees the love cruise something like that unfortunately is not going to have a size dot so that one you're just gonna have to take a guess at but most of the items will have a size dot from lululemon all right the next fun trick is that this zipper pull on the scubas and some of the defined jackets have this as well are actually emergency hair ties so you can actually take this off of here even though this one's tied super super tightly you can actually take these off and use them as an emergency hair tie i have before or you can just take it off in general if you don't like the zipper pull all right so you can actually take the little elastic off and use it as a hair tie and then the scuba would just look like that but i always like to leave them attached again for emergency situations i think there's been a couple times that i have actually used the emergency hair tie on my scuba super handy super helpful in case you didn't know this is actually a hair tie for the scuba and they are on some of the other items but i think scuba is like the most popular one that it's on the next tip as you might know most of the sports bras and align tanks at lululemon come with those removable cup paddings but most of the things with a built-in bra will also have this and sometimes these 
can be a little bit of a pain to wash. Sometimes they get crumpled and folded and creased and that crease just won't come out and it's not flattering when you put it back into the item. So a tip for you is that you can actually go to Lululemon and you can go to the fitting rooms or ask an educator on the floor for new bra inserts and you can get them. They are free, no extra cost. You will need to know the size of the item because that will depend on like the size of these. There are like multiple sizes. So again, using that size dot trick in the sports bras, they're going to be on the left side, just in the removable cup and the size dot is in there. So you can check before you head out and ask for a new bra insert, then no, and you can get the appropriate size for your sports bra. But in case you didn't know, you can definitely ask for these and they are free of charge. I wouldn't go and ask for like 20 at a time, but you know, one, one pair every now and then is totally fine. And I know how much of a pain these can be because they can get lost in the wash and again, crumpled. I usually wash mine in like a delicates bag just to like try and help keep them together and flat. And then I will put them back into the sports bra right away while they are drying to kind of help keep it shape. But again, if you ever need new ones or just lost one or whatever it might be, you can go to Lululemon and ask for some. Okay, the next tip and trick might not be new, but could be new for some of you, is that Lululemon offers complimentary hemming on any of the item. You do not have to have a receipt. You do not have to have a tag. It does not have to be brand new. If it's not brand new, just make sure that it is washed and clean, obviously, free of like dog hair, pet hair, etc. And Lululemon will help you hem these items. Now, it is just a simple hem. It is not alteration, so you can't make an item smaller or bigger, unfortunately, or you can't adjust the waist size, something like that. You can't turn a pant into a jogger. It is just a simple alteration, but again, free of charge if you are a member and membership is free to have. And they also do zipper repairs as well for your jackets or your scuba. So if something is not working, you can bring it in and ask for a repair. And usually Lululemons can help you out. However, it does depend on a few circumstances. So my Lululemon personally, we couldn't hem joggers anymore because they just weren't coming back to the quality of like the actual item was intended to be at. So we stopped hemming joggers so there are some limitations to items. Some stores may or may not be able to do. Some stores that have like an in-store hemmer and someone who's like specifically trained to hem Lululemon items maybe are able to do the joggers or you know some items that other stores can't. You can always call ahead but sometimes you do have to see the item to you know double check if we can hem them or not. So again wash it, bring it in and just ask if you can get it hemmed. I'm sure educators in that store will be more than happy to assist you. Like I said some people find you know the groove pants really long or the lounge full straight leg pants whatever it might be and you can actually go and get those hemmed so sometimes it you know doesn't really matter about the length if you can get them hemmed just one other thing to note when you're hemming some things that you know have a seamless design like swiftly's if you decide to hem this sometimes it can alter the garment slightly and usually we will give you a heads up if that is the case and we'll need your consent to go ahead with it usually a swiftly is like seamless but i did get this one hemmed so you can see that there is a thicker seam at the bottom which is fine but sometimes this does unravel it doesn't stay in place or it's prone to like getting snapped and holes in it. I think this one has, yeah, see, it's already, it has like a little hole in the back of it here, just small, but I feel like it's more prone to it because there's like more fabric and stuff. That can happen if you decide to like hem something like this. I think Epta Street Tanks do the same thing. Just be wary of that, but again, I feel like most educators will give you that heads up if that's going to be an outcome of hemming an item. Okay, next fact is that some of the drawstrings on joggers and pants can actually be reversed to the inside. So it's kind of hard to tell in here, but there is two holes on the inside that you can actually feed these drawstrings back through, making it so you can have like the drawstring on the inside. This is super helpful for items like the stretch high rise pants and joggers so you can make them more dressy, make them look a little bit more like a dress pant and tie those drawstrings. Some of the pants do have that feature. So if you wanna check to see if they have like the two extra little holes on the inside, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to feed them back through depending on the item, but but as you can see, I have pushed this one 
back through and I can just pull it so now that it is on the inside and I could tie it on the inside if I'd like and then it would just look like this on the outside. So that's a super fun trick if you want to kind of alter the style of your joggers and pants. All right, the next little fun tidbit I have for you is actually about like the Define jackets and some of the Relu items. So the running winter items, they have this little fold over kind of pocket and this is actually called a cuffin. So it is like a cuff mitten and sometimes they're really nice to keep your hands warm. Again, they're intended for running. So if you're running outside and you want your hands to be covered, you can just fold over this little mitten. I do find them kind of useful sometimes. If I am feeling a little bit cold, I can just like flip it over and you know, have a little bit of extra coverage or if it's in the winter and I'm outside like carrying groceries, I'll like flip this over really quickly. So at least my hands are covered. That is on some of the Define jackets. I think most of the Define jackets actually, except for like the cropped ones and some of the winter run gear. I think you'll find the cuffins on. All right, and the last tip trick tidbit I have for you is actually about this thing right here. So this is called a locker loop. A lot of people don't really understand like what this was intended for, but it's actually meant to hang on your locker so that it's not stressing this part of the collar out and stretching that out, hanging the item. So you actually hang it through this and that will help keep the integrity and you know shape of the jacket, which is really cool and plus sometimes it just doesn't really stay up like when you hang it like that anyways on a hook so you can actually use this little locker loop. That concludes all of my tips and tricks for you guys. Everything that I could think of to share with you. If I missed something or didn't cover something or you know something that I don't, leave that in the comments down below. If you found something helpful in today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more content and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it for you and compiling all of my tips and tricks and knowledge from Lululemon, but I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!